<laughs> Hellbender. What the fuck is this? So Hellbender is an original horror film made for Shudder. And right out of the gate, I gotta warn you guys, this is a slow burn film. I mean, ridiculously slow. Put it this way, I would describe Hellbender as being an ADHD sufferer's kryptonite. <laughs> it's that bad. And I'm actually very confused by my experiences with Hellbender. Stick to the end of this review and you'll see why. So, Hellbender tells the story of Izzy, a teenage girl who lives in a house in the woods with her mother, and she's hardly left these woods nor interacted with anyone other than her mother since she was five. Her mother has forbidden her from interacting with the outside world due to Izzy's sickness, but it doesn't take too long before Izzy discovers a connection between her mother and witchcraft. So here's the thing, I'm really, really not a fan of this film, but still this is the exact type of filmmaking I support. Hellbender is a family made film, literally, Zelda Adams who plays as Izzy. She also directed this film with both of her parents, and her parents also act in this film, with her father playing as a hiker, and her real life mother playing as her character's mother. Also her sister is in this film, so it's crazy. And this isn't the first film this family has made together. I can't comment on the other films because I haven't seen them, but the idea of this family making original films together just melts my heart, and it's easy to see the passion. Hellbender is well acted, it has a very low budget, but the trippy special effects are somehow still incredible, and there are some very strange unique choices in this film. For example, a lot of the soundtrack is diegetic. The characters, Izzy and her mother, are in a little band together, and a lot of the music they create makes up a lot of the soundtrack. It's really cool. And the script abandons a lot of movie tropes and conventions. No real external conflict, not much violence, and there's hardly any movie dialogue with expositional dumps and monologuing. It's one of those slow burn films that doesn't hold your hand. The script trusts the audience to stick with it, and I think that's very brave in a world full of big budget movies making billions when they do follow traditions. But guys, notice that most of my praises here are going to the aesthetics, the concepts, and the story behind the film rather than the film itself. That's because I just don't like this film. Look, let me make this clear. Hellbender is esoteric as hell. It's only for a certain group of film fans. You have to adore slow burn films if you're going to get into this one. Now, I like slow burn films as well, including the ones that break tradition and challenge you, such as Enemy with Jake Gyllenhaal. But Hellbender, for me, is too slow. So slow, in fact, it makes Mandy and Hereditary look like they're in fast mode. But whereas those films have something to keep me engaged throughout, along with great third acts that made my patience feel worth it, Hellbender kind of wasted my time. In the first act, I like the chemistry between Izzy and her mother, and I like seeing Izzy break out of her introverted upbringing. But then the second act came, and it just turned into a gorgeous mess. Long, slow scenes with no dialogue, strange creepy imagery, and flashing colors making it look like an old school Rob Zombie music video. And then we go back to Izzy talking to her mother about seemingly nothing. Then back to the creepy imagery, back to more talking about I have no idea. Izzy has hardly spoken to anyone other than her mother since she was five, but somehow she interacts with others way too easily. Back to the creepy imagery, it felt like a mess. It's like they had no script for the midpoint, so they just shot whatever they could with little to no plan. Then the third act came, and whatever, I just didn't care for the ending. So in the end, no I don't like Hellbender. I did like the imagery, the music, the acting, the story behind the scenes, but the film itself, nah, I wasn't entertained, I wasn't engaged, I was bored as hell. But however, this is where things get weird for me. There's a part of me that thinks I'm just too stupid to like Hellbender. I mean, think about it. The family behind the camera were clearly passionate about Hellbender, and I don't believe the lack of traditional pacing or storytelling mechanics are due to a lack of talent. I have a feeling there's something clever underneath the random imagery and hollow dialogue. 
that there's more to Hellbender than meets the eye. But I was just too fucking bored to see it. So maybe if I watch it again, I'll learn to like it. But I don't want to watch Hellbender ever again. Nor do I think it's a particularly good thing if I have to study a film I don't like in order to like it, right? So in other words, this film's emptiness kind of gaslights me. So as a result, I'm going to do something that I've never done on this YouTube channel. I'm actually not going to give Hellbender a score out of 10. If I was to rate this, I'd give it a very low score. But I have a feeling it doesn't deserve that. I'm just too conflicted, too confused, and too bored to even know what to give this film. So for now, I'm not going to bother rating it. I might rate it if I do decide to watch this film again and then do another video on it. I don't know if that day will come. But for now, I'm just going to say, only watch this if you're an avid, avid fan of slow-paced films. Give it enough time, I'm sure a lot of you fans of slow-paced movies will discover this film and Hellbender will eventually get a fan base. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be one of those people though. Check it out guys, it's interesting. Only if you like slow movies. Christ, what a trip. Thanks for watching guys. Stay jiggy. The better appreciate you.